If you want to be successful, you need to find a career that you're passionate about and good at. Welcome to Pathways to Success, a series of videos to share exciting careers. In each episode, we'll explore a different career pathway and the related classes you can take starting as soon as sixth grade. You'll meet industry expert instructors as they talk about their classes and the pathways they took to reach their career goals. you also hear from current and former students as they describe their experiences in class and talk about what they've learned. In this episode, we'll get to know the classes and pathways that can lead you to a career in arts, media, and entertainment. Hello, my name is Nathan Longden, and I teach for College Career Advantage at Dana Hills High School. I am the instructor for Actors Repertory Theater, Stagecraft, Theatrical Production, Theater Performance, Drama 1A, and Advanced Drama. Um, what's really fun and exciting in all of my classes is we, we usually start with first semester with teaching like the nuts and bolts of like how to do the basics of everything. Having working professionals be able to come in and meet with the class as well has been something that's really awesome so that we can give them kind of an idea of this is how to do things. These are people that have done these things. And then second semester, we work on trying to apply that for themselves. Um, I'm a big proponent of, it's the student's school, it's the student's theater. Um, and I'm nothing but someone that will help them and give them the right tools and access to be able to use their space to their full potential. Hi, my name is Natalie Rebar Kelly. I teach visual arts here at Dana Hills High School, digital photography, AP Studio Art 2D, and I'm also currently teaching ceramics. So in the digital arts, there's a variety of topics we cover. Um, in photography specifically, um, we start off with the basics, how to use the camera, how to understand lighting and composition. And then we evolve into heavy editing using programs like Photoshop. Um, students get so proficient at Photoshop where they can um, combine different images together, they can um, edit a flyaway hair in a photograph, it's a lot of fun and there's a lot of creativity involved with the editing process. My name is Reginald Jones. I teach video production and digital media and also career tech skills here at Dana Hills High School. So one of my main classes that I teach is video production. And um, the awesome thing about video production is it teaches students how to not only film, edit, but also the concepts and the theories of filming a good film. I know nowadays everybody has a camera on their phone and they can record on their phone and everybody can make videos on their phone, but the actual theory and concept to make a good movie, it has to be, uh, you have to learn the basics and the structure of making a good movie and we do that in video production. Can you learn to be an artist? Find out how anyone can. So the misconception is um, I'm good at art or I'm not good at art. A lot of students, when they're six years old, they establish whether or not they're an artist or they're not an artist. And so what I like to tell my students is art is something that can be learned. It's like reading, it's like skateboarding, it's like surfing. It's something that if you practice and, and put effort into it, you absolutely can improve and get better. Um, creativity, sure, it might come a little bit more naturally to some students, but again, it's something that can evolve and students can definitely refine and get better at in class. You know, it's so subjective. So everything can be art. You know, the way that some, the way that a grocery clerk bags my groceries, I could find it super artistic because that's something that I might not be able to do as efficiently or care about as much as they do. You know, so it's like a piece of art that's on a wall might, might someone might feel one way about it and then someone might feel a complete opposite way about it. So what is art? So yes, I think every single person is capable of being an artist. So I have a lot of students that come in and say, hey, Mr. Jones, I'm not creative. In my digital media class and Photoshop, they say, hey, I don't know how to draw. I don't know how to illustrate. Videography, I don't know how to really put a video, make it look good. Guys, when you see those students that's in your class that can draw, that can put good videos together, they just didn't wake up like that, okay? They practice, they practice, they had an idea, they had an interest, right? They had an interest and determination, and they practice and they practice, and at that level that you're meeting them now, they've practiced to where their product looks good. So it's not about uh, what skill level of set that you're at, 
I will meet you where you at, right? And then we will help grow together uh, by practicing and, and, and sharpening your skills. Do you have a creative mind? Learn how to make the most of your ideas. I never knew I had, I guess, so much creative juices, you could say, if it wasn't for this class and my teacher as well for like inspiring me to push myself. I want to pursue something with a creative element like this where I'm thinking more creatively, so I think it's kind of taught me that I want to be in a field where I'm thinking not so linearly. It's really rewarding in the end because nobody's really gonna like judge you for putting your all into something. So I say go for it and take these classes, have fun, let your creative side come out and yeah, just have fun. Do you want to express yourself artistically? Become involved in projects and productions. I took this class primarily because I want to pursue an acting career, but I also wanted to have a wealth of knowledge in the technical aspects and the designer portion. I took this class because I want to go into directing for film, and knowing acting and understanding acting techniques can only help with that. One of my favorite projects was the portrait project, and we had to demonstrate an aspect of our inner and outer self, and I really liked that because, you know, through photos, like, you can see so much depth. Wish you had more confidence? Practice in a safe, nurturing environment. The class has taught me how to work as a group and to express my ideas and not be afraid to give my input. It is just so much fun and such a safe environment and you always feel so welcomed and so loved. You have to be willing to put yourself out there and you have to be willing to have confidence in yourself to do things you wouldn't normally be comfortable with. But that's all part of the experience, it's all part of learning and the group of people, because of these uncomfortable experiences, get so close, it's just very cool. My name is Sage Escalante. I'm a junior at Dana Hills, and I take Madrigals Choir and Jazz Choir, as well as AP Music Theory. So hopefully I will go to Berklee College of Music or Belmont in Tennessee. I will pursue the music production, music technology, or music business majors, and um, take songwriting courses so that I can co-write for people and write songs for other people. Um, but the main goal is, you know, to get my music out there enough so that I can tour, but I have a whole other plan if that doesn't work out, but I think going to those music colleges are going to help a lot with that. I'm really just doing it for myself and for my expression and for the people close to me that love my music the most, and I think if I'm happy with where I am in that moment, then I will have success, you know? Hello, my name is Ava August. I'm a 15-year-old singer-songwriter from Orange County, California. For me, uh, seeing my pathway going forward in the industry, you know, especially coming off of Idol, um, I think the one thing is, you know, being on that TV show, it really did, you know, open my eyes to uh, just kind of how this industry works and, you know, just how much of a commitment it really is and how, you know, you have to be, you know, really in love with what you're doing to um, succeed in this industry. But for me, uh, I see myself, you know, hopefully getting signed to a label and having a team around me to help push my career and get my songs on playlists and also work with a really good producer who understands the vision and uh, my sound and what I, you know, want to be portrayed as as an artist. You can kind of almost go crazy um, in this industry because you're always trying to think about the next thing and what can I do next and how can I top this. Um, and sometimes you kind of have to step out of everything for a second and realize what you have accomplished. But for me personally, the realization of success will come when I'm performing like on a huge stage. It's a headlining show and I have a sea of people singing back to me my lyrics. That would be success for me. There are so many different possibilities within the arts and within these pathways that you can find something that, that does fit you. Just take that one second where you might have, need a big moment of bravery and then you'll get there and you'll find something that might be beneficial for the rest of your life.